Hey, this is Marika from Hairosphere, and today what we're gonna do is just run through an exercise video you can do with your pram or buggy at home or at the park. So today I've got my very old dirty mountain buggy with little Pepper in there, who's gonna be my, um, my unsettled baby for today. So obviously when we go through these exercises, you can get yourself into a little bit of a rhythm, um, pushing your pram as per your baby's requests. I know that some quite like a slow rocking action and some like it a little bit more vigorous. So I'm gonna leave that up to you. You do what works for you. Um, obviously when you're doing these exercises, if you get any pain, stop straight away. A little bit of muscle burn, all good. Um, let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna start with some stretches. So I'll just turn side on. So we'll just start with a couple of roll downs. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna gently drop your chin down towards your chest and then slowly curl forward one vertebra at a time, stretching that pram away from you. And you can come all the way out into a nice flat back. And then when you get to the end, take a breath in as you breathe out, coming back, tucking tailbone under and restacking the spine. I should probably tuck that little cord away. Good. And again, when you get to the top, breath in. As you exhale, chin to chest, relax those shoulders, roll them forward, and gently curl forward one vertebra at a time. Now obviously when you get into this final position, your baby might like a little bit of a rock, so you can do that as well. Fabulous. Oh, I'm gonna stretch all the way out because that feels good for me. And then I'm gonna come back up, I'm gonna tuck my tailbone under, I'm gonna stack my spine. Good. And I'm gonna do one more. Exhale, relax, chin to chest, curl forward, stretch that pram or buggy away from you as far as you can into a nice flat back, depending on your hamstrings. You can give it a little wriggle there. Good, and then slowly come back up, tucking tailbone under, stacking spine, fantastic. Okay, now we're gonna do a little bit of a side stretch. So you can take your feet just a little bit wider than hip width, take that arm up and then just Stretch over, and when you're in that stretch position, you can give that pram a little bit of a, a rock. You should be feeling a stretch down the side of your body. Good, from there, come back up. Now I want you to take a wider stance, as wide as you feel comfortable. Turn that foot out to face your buggy, bend the knee, and then stretch over. Okay, this should feel slightly different. You might feel a bit of a stretch in your thigh here, inner thigh and groin and try and reach that top hand up and over and open up those ribs, create some space. And that stretch should feel nice and relaxed. No pressure, no tension, don't shove things where they don't wanna go. Take it nice and easy. Okay, Pepper, we're gonna change sides. So we're gonna come over the other side. Okay, and you're gonna again stretch up and over. Lovely stretch all the way down the side of your body. And just pushing that pram. I've got a squeaky tire. Good, come up. And then take that wider stance, turn that foot out to the side. Make sure that that knee goes over the middle of your foot and it doesn't twist forward. And then again, stretch this arm up and over. Bend that knee a little bit more if you wanna get a bit of a stretch in that groin. Fabulous, and coming back up. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into some squats. So we're gonna exhale, go down into squat, inhale, come back. Down into the squat and back. As you go down into your squat, I want you to imagine you're sitting on an imaginary chair behind you. So I do want you to stick your bottom out, okay? But you're still keeping your back relatively straight. It's just leaning forward. Good, and up. A few more. As you come up to the top, just give your shoulder blades a little bit of a squeeze. Okay, one more. And hold, just hold it there. And let's do a little bit of pulsing with the arms. Just driving your elbows down towards the floor. That's four, five, six, seven. You can see I'm looking at the floor just in front of me, eight, nine, 10, lovely, come back up. 
give the legs a little bit of a shake and let's go into some calf raises so sitting feet underneath hips you're going to go up and down onto your toes and at the same time pushing your pram forward and backwards think about a string that's drawing you up straight up towards the ceiling so try not to do this I'm exaggerating obviously but I do see quite a lot of people as they go up onto their toes letting their hips go forward I want you to really drive up with your calf muscles yep keep the weight through your big toes don't go onto the outside of your foot just go straight up and down use those big toes keep them in contact with the floor good three more excellent now we're going to go into a sumo squat so we're going to take a wider stance probably about one and a half to two shoulder widths feet pointing out slightly so 11 and 1 on the clock 10 and 2 if you're pretty flexible in the hips and you're going to just bend your knees but keep your back nice and straight okay from there we're going to basically do the same squat we were doing before but we're going to do it in this position okay so you can just go into a little bit of a rhythm what feels good for you so as i go down i'm going to push the buggy forward obviously you're just going down as far as you feel comfortable just make sure those knees keep going out over your toes so don't let them collapse in otherwise you'll be coming to see a physio for knee pain pretty soon so keep those hips nice and wide good hold it there at the bottom okay from there we're just going to go up and down on toes so you're going to try and keep your body in the same point in space you're just going up and down on toes so yes your thighs will start to burn a little bit four five five to go six come up if you need to seven last three eight nine ten lovely come back up you should feel those thigh muscles working a little bit there give them a little bit of a shake okay now what we're going to do is do a little bit of um, single leg squat now it's actually helpful to do it with a buggy because it can help you with your balance and just stop you from dropping your hip out to the side so if i just show you from in front what you want to make sure of when you do your single leg squat is that you don't let your hip drop out to the side like this okay so try and make sure that knee goes over the middle of your toes as you go forward okay and you can use your pram for balance so what we're going to do is we're going to do two sets of five on each leg so standing on your right leg okay so you can go down as far as you feel comfortable and up that's one slowly two three four five change legs okay and get your balance first make sure all your toes are in contact with the floor back and up Whoop. that's two three use those bum muscles to come back up four five let's do our second set back onto the right leg one two whoop, three four five change legs one two three last two four five shake it out okay what we're going to do next is go into a little bit of an arabesque so this is going to work our hamstrings quite a lot so how far you can go is going to depend on your hamstring length so if you're pretty tight just stick to a um, position that feels comfortable for you okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to stand on my right leg and then as i push the buggy away i'm going to really stretch out and lengthen that left, left leg behind me but i'm going to try and keep my body facing the floor so try not to twist good and then coming back up good that's one and up two i like this as a hamstring stretch actually three stretching four 
five, let's do eight. Six, last two. Seven, it's a bit harder actually, I don't have the counterweight. Pepper's not very heavy. Eight, <laughs> change your legs. That's one. Two. Three, so lovely for glutes and hamstrings. Bit for your back as well. Four, last four. Stretch. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, and relax. Okay, what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna do some stationary lunges. I love lunges, I think they're a great exercise, great for your thighs, also a very functional exercise because the reality is we, we lunge and squat all the times as new mums. Um, let's just start with the right leg forward, left leg back, just checking to make sure your feet are hip width apart. All you're gonna do is you're gonna drop down into the lunge, so dropping that back knee towards the floor and come back up. Okay, so just going straight up and down. And I just want you to think about your spinal posture. So just think about lengthening the back of your neck Try not to lean too much forward like this or leaning backwards is the other one that I see quite commonly. So just see if you can go straight up and down and just check that front knee is going over the middle of your toes. I've totally lost count, so let's swap sides. <laughs> so feet hip width apart. Make sure you're not standing on a tightrope. I'm just gonna go straight up and down. So if you're really tight in your quads, especially that long quad that crosses the hip as well, you might find that you need to keep the stance quite short, okay? Because you might find that this gets too much tension. So that's fine, just stick with a level that's comfortable for you, a distance that's comfortable for you. A couple more. Woo, I lost that last one there. Okay, let's just stretch out those quads. So heel to bottom, knees in nice and close. Grow tall through your spine. See, this is multitasking. That's what mums are awesome at. Okay. Lovely, and you can change legs. So knees in nice and close. Tall through your body. Open through that hip. I'm feeling nice and warm now. Hopefully you are too. Good, you can stretch out those calf muscles. So anchor that back heel, like, like you've got a bug under your heel, squish it down, keeping that back knee nice and straight. Good, change legs. Good, roll those shoulders forward. And backwards. And tick tock with the head side to side. I've got a really squeaky tire there. And big circle with the neck. And change. Fantastic. Great job, guys. Hopefully your uh, legs have had a little bit of a workout there. Um, so obviously, yeah, take your pram, do this down at the park, do this in your backyard. You can do it in your lounge room like I'm doing now. Whatever works for you. Um, and break it up into smaller segments if you find that it's a little bit long. Um, enjoy. Have fun. As always, if anything hurts, make sure you stop. Go see your physio or doctor. If you have any questions, you can email me, marika at herosphere.net. Thanks for joining me.